Hello and welcome to another video. So this question is one of the applications of implicit differentiation and as you can see you have x, you have y, you have z. Okay so this is something in multivariable calculus, calculus 3, but uh, this is not about calculus 3, you just want to be able to find dz dt which is something you can find if you're, if you're given the function. Okay so but there's no t in the question you're given, and that's why you know it's implicit differentiation. You have to know that x is changing with respect to t, y is changing with respect to t, and z is changing with respect to t. And that's what you have to do. So they've given us dx dt, dy dt, we need to find dz dt. But all we know is that the square of x plus the square of y plus the square of z is always equal to 9 when when all the squares are always equal to a constant, it is either, if it is two-dimensional, then it is a circle. Remember, this is the equation of a circle if you leave out this. If you add a third dimension to it, depth, then it becomes a sphere, and that's, that's what it looks like. So imagine that the, the, the x uh, component is increasing or decreasing at a certain rate, the y component is also decreasing at a certain rate or ch changing at a certain rate. But whatever happens, you'll always get a square um, of radius. I mean, whatever happens, you'll always get this 9. Okay, x squared plus y squared plus z squared is always 9. But they're changing with time. So how do you get the derivative of the third one if all they gave you is this? Well, it's implicit differentiation. Okay, just differentiate this with respect to t. Differentiate this with respect to t, this with respect to t, and this with respect to t. And whatever you get, you just solve the equation. Okay, so let's do this. It's going to be a short video. I think the explanation is longer than the calculation. Let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is just take the derivative of both sides. That's it, with respect to t. So we're going to say d dt of the left-hand side, which is x squared plus y squared plus z squared will be equal to d dt of 9. Well, here we have to do implicit differentiation, which means you take the derivative of this, which is going to be 2x dx dt, or what we say x prime. But because it's not just x, we, have, we, we can't say x prime this time. We're going to say dx dt, dx dt, OK? Plus, this is going to be 2y dy dt. And this is going to be equal to, sorry, not equal to, plus 2z dz dt. And on the right-hand side, what do we get? We get 0. Okay, we're done. That's the calculus part. You just want to plug in all the values, and you're good. So let's go here and find all our values. dx dt is 5, dy dt is 4. We know x is 2, y is 2, and z is 1. So let's plug in all the numbers. So this is going to be 2 times... What is x? x is 2. And what is dx dt? It's given as 5. Okay. We go here. We have 2 times. What is y? y is 2. What is dy dt? It's given as 4. We're done. We go here. We have 2. What is z? z is 1. And what is dz dt? That's what we're looking for. We're looking for dz dt. We don't have it. Okay. But everything must add up to 0. So let's simplify. Here we've got 4 times 5. That's 20 plus um, 4 times 4, 16, plus 2 dz dt is equal to 0. So um, if I add these together, I'm going to get 36, move it over to that side. I have 2 dz dt is equal to negative 36. So dz dt is negative 36 divided by 2, and that gives me Let's write it here, negative 18, and that's dz dt. Okay, hope this help was helpful. So when you see things like that, just do implicit differentiation. And I might do another video where you have to do implicit differentiation combined with the product rule. I'll see you in the next video. Don't stop learning, because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.